Well, the first thing I want to show you is if I compress the bellows all the way and then seal off the exit hole with my finger, you see that it rises very, very slowly. So right now uh, this plate is being pushed up uh, by the springiness of the bellows, but it's at the same time being pushed down by the air pressure on the outside being greater than the air pressure on the inside. And just for comparison now, if I let go, that's how quickly it goes up. Now you can also test this in reverse essentially. So I'm going to seal it up again with my finger and I'm going to push down on this thing. And you can hear that something is leaking out and I can definitely get this bellows down. Uh, but I'm pushing with uh, a little bit over 10 kilograms of force last time that I measured. Uh, and so that's actually creating a pressure in here of over 100 centimeters of water, uh, which is way, way above uh, what a patient should ever experience. And so even at that very elevated pressure, we can see that the leakage is actually very, very minor, especially when we compare it to just how terrible that piston was. So this is looking really good to me. Um, and so what I'd like to do now is put a bar over the top, something like this. I want to have two lead screws come up. And then if you use two motors to turn the lead screws, then this bar will go up and down. And that way you can have a motorized control of the bellows. And in that respect, it looks completely the same like the piston pump, except the leakage.